It's the NFL on EA Sports, where it doesn't get any better than this, a Super Bowl rematch. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals, next on Madden Football. It is a warm and pretty picturesque late summer afternoon in Paul Brown Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Utah Ute Matt Gay to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Cincinnati's offense takes the field and leading the way for the reigning AFC champs is last season's comeback player of the year, a man who needs no introduction, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow could have won comeback player of the year last season simply for his statistics. 4,600 yards, 34 touchdowns through the air. But he brought the entire Bengal organization on a comeback after five straight losing seasons. First with a division title, then an unexpected AFC title, on, and led the team to their third Super Bowl ever. And he had them less than two minutes away from winning it for the first time. Keep an eye on Joey B. He expects to bring a Super Bowl title to Cincinnati in the near future. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like these are wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground, mixing again. Dances by him. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. From just shy of midfield, Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Mixon with a first down carry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. Here we go. Pretty decent gain. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he's going to have a Bengals first down. 
He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. And defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, 15 yards. And the Bengals will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Evan McPherson for the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. And here comes Matthew Stafford leading the Rams offense out there. And just as he did last season when he captured his first in the Rams' second Super Bowl title. Matthew Stafford's first season in Los Angeles could not have gone better as he proved to be the missing piece that brought the Rams a Lombardi trophy. It was a very well-deserved moment for the 13th-year pro who was 12th all-time in yards and touchdowns but had never experienced a postseason victory before that season. Now, you just call him a Super Bowl champion, and boy, did he embrace the Rams' offense from the start with almost 5,000 yards and 41 touchdowns in 2021. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now the, oh, he's ready, he lost the football, put it on the carpet, and the Bengals grab it, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football, and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? And right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't go, do go. that. Mixing up the middle. Oh, good move. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. Here we go, here we go. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Burrow. And he rifles one incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Mixon, diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone.
And McPherson on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So that drive of four plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to go again. Here's Cam Akers in the L.A. offense. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. On first down at Stafford. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second and ten, Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll give it to Mixon. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss. Touchdown, Bengals! Joe Burrow spotting T. Higgins for the touchdown there. And the Bengals take a three-touchdown lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. McPherson on for the point after. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And 
they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that, as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. From the 31, Stafford. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, here's Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Hey. Again, it's Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 14. 15 yards there on the catch and run. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Stafford. That's complete, right around the All eight. Boys, here we go. Hey, go here. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. The Rams gonna be forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. Stafford looks to throw again. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Gay knocks this one through. But wait up now, a flag is down. If this is on the defense, they're going to get the first. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They decline it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I figure I'm going to give that to you anyway. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. And it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> so we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports 
halftime report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Rams. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back up to Cincinnati and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end Higby. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. First down. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Stafford going to give to eight. And he loses the football a second time. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. Well, it reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. A very good starting field position from the Bengals here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 62 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Mixon on the toss right. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. I'm one, right? The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. From the 22, Stafford looking underneath. He's got Akers. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Rams on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now well, Stafford. Goes to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. Now a first down throw, Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. From the 45 on second down, Stafford. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Bengals grab it. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Here we go, here we go. Inside handoff to Mixon. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Gun, gun. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Again, it's Mixon. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. 
Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Man, open, it's cup. He's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. From the 45 on second down, Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know it. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. And the Bengals grab it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got and took off, there was no catching him. And I know every team tells you to hustle no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. McPherson now for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football. And we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. On first and ten, Stafford. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.